I'm Jen. I'm a fantasy copywriter at usomuch.com, and I believe in the power of fantasy to help you sell. Words make it real. And so I got a question recently that I thought all of you copywriters and business owners out there would really benefit from, and it's related to another project that I'm working on, um, which is completely different, sort of, you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute, um, and it's in regards to uh, my own fantasy of writing a book. And so I've created this video series where I um, come up with inspirational ideas in my video and I ask my audience to give me feedback on those ideas. And so I had someone ask me, the question that I had was, tell me Jen, how is writing copy anything like writing a story? And I thought it was a great question because some people might think it's a lot different because when you're writing copy, you're trying to sell something. And when you're writing a story, it's more of an entertainment kind of thing, right? But there is a similarity and here's what, the, what it is and it's actually a really big one. In a story, you have a character who's going through a journey. Some people call it the hero's journey that was coined by Joseph Campbell. All you writers out there will be pretty familiar with that term. Some people might just call it a character arc. But the, the, the bottom line is a character will go through um, a journey where they uh, have a major goal and while they go to attain that goal, they basically kind of discover things about themselves. They really learn a lot and grow and um, become their better selves all while making their fantasy become a reality. And in copy, the Similarity is that your customer is the hero. So your customer is going through this journey and your product and service is gonna help their fantasy become a reality. So um, one of the things that I've noticed that a lot of business owners do is that they wanna make themselves be the hero. They want their product and service to be the thing that they brought to the uh, customer and voila, here we go. But the reality is, is the customer wants to be the hero. So when they go to your website page or whatever copy it is that you've got going on, whether it's for radio or for a pamphlet or anything else, Basically, the bottom line is the customer wants to be the one that's going through that journey. So they're the ones that have gone through this pain all the, and then they're going to go through all these trials and tribulations until all of a sudden at the end of the journey they have this reward and that is your product and service. And so, yes, you're providing the product and service, but the customer is the hero. They're the ones that have gone through this journey. They're the ones that have been through this pain and until they got there and then they were able to make their fantasy a reality by using your product and service. So when you're looking at your copy, really take a look at that and make sure that you've made your customer the hero, not yourself. And that, my friends, is how it is very similar to writing a book. And really, it shouldn't necessarily be entertaining as much as it should be something that you could really relate with as someone who's reading it. And if you've ever read a really entertaining book, uh, a really fascinating book that you can't put it down, it's mainly because there are things about it that you can really relate with. There are things about it that make you want to, uh, you know, jump in and do some of those things for the character, right? Um, your website page should do something kind of similar. Your copy should speak so closely to the customer's fantasies that they feel like they're right there and to the point where they're gonna, at the end of the page, they can't wait to buy your product and service. If you want to know more about me and my fantasy copy, you can find me online at usomuch.com. And don't forget to write down your own fantasies because words make it real.